Oka on the Fulham Road is one of those furniture caves full of the most exciting treasures and there is so much to find here. There is never a moment where you walk in and walk out empty-handed. <laughs> So I've already spotted something I love and might just take home with me. Right, so this is an incredibly welcoming and you know beautifully sized actually ottoman and coffee table. And what I love about this uh, for myself personally is that obviously I've got children and this is a sort of perfect combination between, you know, the woodwork and the softer side so that really no one's bashing their heads against this. So now that I've started looking, I am very excited because I'm going to keep walking around and check to see whether or not this is the best option for us or if there is something else I might have my eye on. And I think I may have already found it. So let's decide what works best. Ready for this? Here it is. The perfect, unique, great shape. I love a big square coffee table. And I don't know if you can see, but if you look inside this really lovely piece of glass, I think it's glass rather than perspex, there are these stunning shells. Now, I don't know what your kids love, but my children are obsessed with shells and I love them too. And this is such a great sort of way to bring out um, nature in your living room, you know, but having it displayed in a piece of furniture is such a great way to be playful, fun, and yet still really neutral and natural. Coming over to this area and this really lovely dining room set up, you've got this Alfred dining table. Now never have extending dining tables been so beautiful. Again, you've got this really stunning uh, timber effect on the top so you can really see the grains here and these legs are just fabulous you know that attention to detail is so so pretty and so elegant um, and I love the fact that this is a really slim top actually and isn't you know one of those chunky tables um, and you know I like a chunky table but there is something very elegant about this look and it extends all the way up to 290 so it really is a good size and you can see here you've already got eight people either side you could potentially pop someone on either end um, and make it a 10 but it is already a really lovely size and very very elegant. For those who want to be inspired by how to put things together and for those who want to see different room schemes and different colours together and know how that all works, these are great places to be able to do them. Right, now I'm going to take you to one of my favourite things that Oka has. I can't get there quickly enough, James, because here it is, the lighting heaven and there is so much here for you to pick from. There are colors and shapes and geometrics and pattern and it's fabulous. I mean, for someone like me, this is just the place. So what's quite nice is um, you just get such a range of different variety and there is really something for everyone. I mean, you know, you have the simple color block here. You've got the geometric sort of play, you know, playful color here, but a really lovely blue. So, you know, it's not too out there. And then, you know, over here, again, you have a lot of color blocking going on. So really bold colors at the bottom of these lamps, but then with these really beautiful patterned and pleated shades. And they, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So that's really lovely to have too. I believe these are new additions because I haven't seen them. Uh, and they are absolutely lovely. Can you just imagine this beautiful, um, you know, maroonish red table lamp uh, in somebody's office? That would just be absolutely gorgeous. And for those of you like me who want a more neutral base, here it is, folks. The black and bronze, and it's gorgeous. I mean, this could literally go in any cafe, any library, any study desk. It's so pretty, so elegant, and so unique because, you know, usually you see these with quite thick 
basis and this is really so elegant because it's such a lovely slimline base. So this is definitely a treasure trove for furniture designers like me, but also for anyone. You know, this is such a nice, easy place to be able to come and pick up so many pieces. You know, my house is already finished and yet every time I walk in here, uh, I, unfortunately for my husband, find something I love. We will be taking home a coffee table today. If you come into this room with me now, and this is actually at the front of the shop, you can see what I mean when I talk about Christmas fantastical, because this, guys, is it. My favorite place to buy Christmas decorations used to be a store that we all know quite well, so I won't mention it here, but this is definitely now my favorite place. I have bought the most beautiful Christmas decorations that exist, possibly, from India Jane. They are absolutely outstanding. Although we're not here for that today, so I'm gonna try and stop myself from picking at the tree. I'm gonna take you around the furniture today because actually what we are doing today isn't just showing you around the shop, but I am going to, inspired by India Jane, pick monochromatic pieces for a monochromatic design where I'm gonna be redoing one of the rooms in my home just for you guys and this is where it's all gonna be from. So not only is this one of my favorite pieces from India Jane, but it must be one of my all-time favorites. I absolutely love this side table slash tray slash bar area. Some of you will have seen that in my recent pieces of joinery, I have some really gorgeous rattan um, that I'm now trying to incorporate in my designs. And this is perfection here because here you have this lovely rattan, really light color with this beautiful dark background, um, painted black wood and it just looks fabulous together. Oh my gosh, and it is hard to avoid the Christmas that is happening in here, but I'm going to try my best to pull my eyes away. So I guess I'm kind of moving away here from the monochromatic theme that we were just talking about, but I do love blues and this is such a gorgeous print. Um, it's so rich and grand feeling. Um, and again, a lovely thing to have in a living room. You could put two of these together and create a really lovely soft looking coffee table. This is a really inspiring way to create a beautiful wall design. Now what they've done here is have these really large images, prints, um, really beautifully framed and place them without any spacing one by the other to create this almost paneling effect on the wall, but doing it with imagery and with visuals. It's such a special and interesting way to create a new wall design. You know, it doesn't always have to be paneling and it doesn't always have to be a texture on a wall or a paint or wallpaper. This is a really stunning way to bring your walls to life. I promise I won't say it again, but be inspired when you walk into shops. You know, part of buying isn't just buying the actual item, it's being inspired by how it's all put together. And this is definitely inspiration. Here it is, the bedside table in that monochrome black and rattan finish. I can see it right there. Look at this, you've even got this really lovely sort of bronze bamboo finish on the handle. Those details are so special and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous table. I love the prints at India Jane. There is so much um, floral around and they always really do take into consideration the way that they frame their prints and what's really inside the print and where it'll be placed. 
they really have um, some great character without being too symbolic of anything in particular. But these are a great way to you know, bring nature into your home, but subtly through artwork rather than having to have real life plants. Sticking with that monochromatic theme, I love these, and you already know I love the prints in here, but these are a really sort of subtle monochromatic theme, and yet they're very, very bold. You know, this sort of background crackle effect and this cream tone almost makes it feel very black and white, and yet it's not quite white, and it isn't, you know, so stark it's actually quite subtle in the sense that you know the metal is melting into the background and working really well with that frame um, and then here you have this really gorgeous urn um, that sits very beautifully but you have these really lovely shadows throughout the print so again sitting really almost boldly and yet in a very subtle way really pulling themselves out of the print Okay, welcome to the next High Street shop. Now we are on the Duke of York Square in Kings Road and this is Tashen. Tashen is known for some of the most beautiful books. They've always got something, you know, really interesting and really unique to offer here. Um, this, uh, which I haven't seen before, is Al Weiwi a citizen's investigation, the silk scarf. Now, it looks like a book and opens up into this beautiful gift scarf. Um, and this is actually published by Tashen in a signed and limited edition in 2019. Um, and it's using traditional Chinese art, uh, paper cut art, um, which you can see here on the front now. That's a really lovely, very special gift. You can see down here, um, this is a book called Masterpieces of Fantasy Art. I mean, just looking at that book, it's so very special. Books often describe the character of the person living in a home. And so, you know, walking into somewhere like this and being able to gift someone something very special and personal related to them is such a lovely way to give somebody an experience rather than just a gift. This one would be a gem for me. It's called Fashion History. And over here, we've got The Rise of David Bowie, which I'm sure is an incredible book. You've got the Beatles down here, which from a monochromatic perspective, I would love. And this would probably be my favorite book of all, Azadine Peter Elia Lindeberg. So this is definitely going to be a pick of mine. This gorgeous book, beautiful on the outside and I can't wait to see what's on the inside. It's called Homes for Our Time and it's contemporary houses around the world. And I don't know if you can appreciate just how beautiful this book really is. It has this gorgeous weight and feel to it. There's a lot of architecture in here. So this is definitely more an architectural book, but look at that, what a gorgeous image. With the rock and the nature and the really clean cut kitchen. So just to make you aware, everything here is also published by Tashan and this is such a gorgeous book. I can't even wait to get my hands on it. It's called Cabinet of Curiosities. Now, if that doesn't spark your curiosity, I don't know what will. Okay, so I've just spotted probably what's going to be my favorite book and it's called The World's Most Beautiful Libraries. Now that's a special book. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I must have this book. How much is it? I must have it. Bought, sold. Where's my wallet? James, this is becoming a very expensive day. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't walk out empty-handed. 
Thank you, Tashem.